Hey, welcome back to Minecraft Through the Night. I'm Doggone. This is Season 5, Temple of Dawn. Some people call it Temple of Dawn. I call it Temple for One. So in the last episode, we did some chest upgrades. Upgraded our chest, all you ladies. Um, why is it all ladies want to upgrade their own chest? Come on, man. Chests are great. Your chest are beautiful, man. We've got um, some barrels put in place. Barrels. Barrel, barrel, barrels. You know what? Let's open this temple up a little bit, man. This this temple, man. It's um come on. The proper temple should be a little bit more spacious, don't you think? A bit more spacious. My word. Um so I thought about I'm still thinking about relocating storage down here. I like the way I like I like to having these barrels embedded in the walls. I mean, I like a clean build, a clean look like that. I need some more of this prismarine. Let's bookmark that. It looks so good in this mod pack next to that enchantment enchanting enchantment enchanting table <laughs> I got tons of bookshelves could totally bookshelf all these walls you know and we there's even more oh yeah there's even more bookshelves could be our wallpaper I kind of like that idea. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit distracted, but what else is new, right? Let's start from here. Here. Actually, I can't use the corner, so... Let's just redo the corner here. Like that. Bookshelves. Buck, 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 buck. Um, I, uh, let's talk about mods. I removed V-tweaks because I'm trying to figure out how to reset the day up in the top left corner. The day, the Minecraft day number, the day count. I'm trying to reset the time counter in Minecraft because when I re reloaded from the save from the backup, Minecraft reset the day to day one. It reset the time to zero essentially, uh, and I want to keep our time. Like today is, I have to mentally add. Five, uh, 155 to the day so today is 159 welcome to day 159 welcome to the late afternoon of day 159 by the way okay lots of books in this corner um, I was gonna go for a blip 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 a diagonal look but I it looks kinda weird like that so I think I'm just gonna go um, I'm gonna take these out. Man, who, who knew a silk touch pick, a silk touch axe would be so flipping useful and fun? But it is. Okay, let's put our books away, our bookshelves away. Sort everything. Um, 
Get our tools back. Okay. So that corner is bookshelves and enchanting. Need prismarine. This corner, um, or this area, I want to open this up. But if I open up that, I may have to build it a little bit higher. I may have to build that higher. I think that's okay. We'll see. I mean, what else? Uh, we can always fix it. We can always change it, right? What, what do we got to lose? Like my counselor said, dog, what, what do you got to lose? Give it a try. What do you got to lose? Answer, I, I'm just scared, man. Dog, we're all scared, man. Oh, you don't sound scared. Scared? Scared? Oops. Let's go back with Silk Touch here. The Silk Touch. The man with the Silk Touch. Okay. Oops. Bip. Boop. Bip. 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 That. I like how it opens it up, but now all this kind of stuff is exposed as, uh, is exposed. Okay, we'll fix that. Let's sleep through Minecraft night number 159 here in Temple of Dawn. The reason I ins the reason I de I uninstalled um, V tweaks is because um, it did not do the step up command. Apparently, an earlier version of it did. But this version does not. And that, and I was like, that's really the whole reason I installed VTweaks was for the step up. But I looked in the source code and it's not, it's not doing it in 1.14.4. So, yeah. Let's see what it looks like out here. Um, also, um, as you'll note, it well. Where's all the mobs? Hmm. I started to say one of the issues, buggy issues I had with V tweaks. I really want to support it and like it, but one of the buggy issues I had with it was that um, mobs um, weren't spawning at night. That's not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool. We need to get some slabs, so, well. Or do we? That looks alright. Kind of drainage. If we've got enough light back here, mob's not going to spawn. Let's, let's take a look at our light overlay. Looks good. Of course, they're not going to spawn up here. Looks good. Okay. I think the lights are looking good. Alright, let's go back. Delete the mob overlay. The light overlay, I mean. What does this look like from the front? Kind of added a little bit of... Yeah, I mean, you can't even really tell. I'm totally cool with that. I'll tell you what I'm also cool with. I'm not cool with adding a mod that does nothing. 
what I am cool with. Man. Oh, it needs a redstone. So I've been dog. Do you even TNT? I don't. I don't. Really don't. Not surprised. I mean, after looking at that, I'm not surprised. <sighs> I just want my flipping step up, man. Without the jump up. I just want to step up. There we go. Boom. Gotta be right here, huh? <laughs> Bye. How much farther down does it need to go? I don't know, but let's uh, let's have a bit more fun. You know, it, it kind of didn't have the area. Oh, it snaps. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's get down here with our um, tools. I'm just gonna toss these treasure maps, man. Okay, so that, 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 that is the, is the base. Let's bring me one of those chests, please. Jeeves. Bring me a chest, Jeeves. Sir. First, let's put away this coal. Put away these redstone torches. away that TNT. I think we've done enough TNT, don't you think? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, clutter? All that stuff. Oh, is it stuck down here? Stuck over here? There it is. Okay. Put a chest right here. Put some sandstone there. Wow. There's a lot more sandstone than I thought we were going to get. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we talked about knocking this um, 
hill down down to ground level so we have better visibility at night but dog I thought you I thought you liked nature at night I, I do I do I, uh, I'm a member of the International Dark Sky Association take back the, take turn out the lights take back the nights big fan of that but dog isn't it dangerous at night without light well I'll tell you what lights criminals are people too they gotta be able to see what they're doing lights usually help them really the really I don't have a problem with lights it's light implementation I have a problem with um, lights are uh, there's lights are often shining directly like in our eyes and uh, if we just remove that that aspect where they're shining in our eyes and um, like um, let's see there's a thing called a I'm, I'm not even making much sense I'll try to make there's a thing called a Hubble cap a Hubble um, light cap it's like a, a hood or a dome that you put over it like a street light and what it does is it it prevents the light from shining upwards into the sky and it instead uh, allows light to shine uh, down on the yard like directly below the street light um, and the effect is it lights up the area it's supposed to light up without all that nuisance glare so that's what that's that's what I'm about I, I have a lot of problems with glare these days uh, my eye injuries and LASIK and all this kind of stuff uh, lots of problems with glare so anything I can do to get rid of glare man I'm all about that all right um, Dog, you're making a big mess of everything. I know, I know I am. I'm, I'm trying not to, but I understand. I gotta get some blocks put away before they despawn. Alright, good, good. Alright, well, let's sleep through night, night one. I don't know if you can hear that. My dishwasher is going off in the background. I have no idea what it sounds like. Hopefully it's not loud. Oh, good morning, son. Namaste. My uh, quest to find a, a way to... I wasn't just looking for a mod that would set the day-night. I'm trying to... If I can find a, a code, Java, you know, the code that does it, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll do my own. I'll write my own code. I'm not a stranger to that. Uh, never done Java. Oops. Alright. If that's broken, I'll just... Um, we'll give it some time to mend. Some mending time. Let's grab some more sandstone over here. <clears throat> Fill all this in with sandstone. There should be a silk touch uh, TNT, don't you think? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Or is that just weird? Silk touch TNT. Instead of blowing up stone to cobble, it blows up stone to just stone. level with the sand let's just uh, put sand down okay durability is increasing wow it's gonna take it a while Adobe 
Acrobat DC was successfully installed. I, I, remind me, am I do I am I caring about this? Adobe. I used to have a free uh, license to Adobe um, Creative Commons elements and all that kind of stuff, and I kind of messed around with it a little bit while I was, you know, working on recording, editing recordings and stuff, Photoshop. I actually used it to create the um, tiles of my um, like uh, doggone Minecraft through the night. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that again. I'm not sure I know how to do it, <laughs> but I had a license through the university, and they did not renew it. And I found out that it's not a it's not like an Adobe decision. It's the university purchasing the license. If the university purchases it, you know, then the um, Adobe provides it, or at least that's how Microsoft works. If you can buy a cheap license to like Microsoft Office, it's because your university has bought a, a, a licensing has bought has paid for the licensing has paid for everybody to have cheap licensing and that's no such thing as a free lunch right oops oops again whoops again whoops you know, I used to tell myself back when I was teaching that when I'm no longer teaching, I'll uh, I'll get back on Minecraft through the night. Now that I can't get embarrass myself in the classroom with it, and now that that I'm not teaching, I'm not doing Minecraft through the night. Well, what gives, dog? I, brother, I don't know. I think I think we have discovered that it's not really. I think we just discovered the dog is a bit scared. Why? I don't know. Not like it. Expect to have a million viewers or anything. Wouldn't know what to do with that if I did. Oh my god. Celebrity man. Not. Not. Speaking though of celebrity status, I was thinking about that. That really kind gentleman who sat next to me in the flight from Hong Kong to um, San Francisco he said who said you're a famous writer aren't you I'm like no wouldn't want to be why wouldn't want the hassle that goes with it but what if it's not a hassle what if it's just good that, that'd be cool wouldn't it Dog, you don't gonna do anything except just put sand on the ground. Hey, man, we're this is strategy. <laughs> this is strategy, man. We're we're like um. It's not strategy, dog. This is just you yakking. <sighs> Dang. Busting my britches here. Um, you're right. It is me just yakking. Only way I can have an intelligent conversation, though. That's a joke. Do 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 do. What else we're gonna do besides pound sand? Whoops, the wrong way. Well, I'm glad you asked because. Because you don't have an idea, do you? I, man. I do. I uh, I saw something in the base and I thought we ought to do that. And now I've forgotten what it was. My counselor. We, we were talking about. ADHD and she had a really good observation she said 
this world we live in is is difficult for everybody she said you know there's a lot of diagnoses and she's now this is her talking she said I think a lot of people don't really if they could live in a sane rational environment they would never be diagnosed with this or that and I think I, I wasn't really sure what she was getting at I guess but I said you know I I agree we do live in a very crazy irrational environment we're talking about Black Mesa and how amazing it is that out there she's never been there and I told her you know it's just it's a place where I can I can think oh my shovel broke again and uh, she wanted to know you know more about what I meant about that and so we talked about having a place where you can go where you can just relax and process data and stuff and all this stuff that's happened over the years you know and um, it's like for once you're having no new input no new overload and so your brain can finally your your e emotions can finally start to process old stuff I've, I've made it no secret when I go out to Black Mesa and I'm walking around I'm I'm crying all the time man I'm just crying because because I'm processing stuff old stuff old things divorce and breakups and family and heartache and, you know it's sort of like you know the the phrase that uh, you find out who your real friends are when you're having a crisis or something like that. Um, at Black Mesa, it's so quiet that you can find out. It's like finally you can find out what your mm, issues are because there's nothing new being added to the list. You're not in the swamp of the new stuff. And um, it's, so it's kind of a catharsis kind of a place for me. Um, I was just telling, uh, I just messaged Noy the, uh, yesterday to tell her that um, my uh, geologist friend Marvin told me about a new place I didn't know about real close to Black Mesa called, um, it's the Comanche National Grassland. And it has um, the world's the longest dinosaur trackway in the world. Um, and um, Noy's response was, "Wow, the United States sure has a lot of that kind of. U.S. sure has a lot of dinosaur stuff." And I, I didn't really. I didn't respond to that, but um, it's true we do, but it's because, for one thing, we're, we're a really big nation, but also um, it's just luck, luck of geography. I mean, Thailand doesn't have stuff like that exposed because it doesn't have arid, uh, dry, desert areas. At least as far as I know, it doesn't. So, you know, sort of like the only reason her country doesn't have that is because it's just geography. All right, night night of day six. Let me check the time right quick. So I think this will do it for this episode. Uh, basically just took down a hill with dynamite. That's all we did. Yakking, running around like we do. I'll see you next time. Bye now.